Ooh, that's classic. And we got something classic for you. We're going to jump back in the time machine. We're going back to 1986. November 22nd, 1986. When Tyson made history versus Trevor Burbick. WBC champion Trevor Burbick defends his crown against Mike Tyson. It's scheduled for 12 rounds. The to show the world that I stand for Christ, and when I do, I do it good, and I do it to win. And when it's all over, I want to give all the glory to God. Trevor Burbick is a mysterious, eccentric character held together by faith in himself and in his religion. And Mike Tyson had, and in a very real sense, still has, Customato. D'Amato was also a rather curious character in the boxing world. Trainer, teacher, self-styled philosopher, and a sort of mad scientist of the ring. With me, the guy comes to me with a spark. I fan the spark until it becomes a flame. I feed the flame until it becomes a fire. If Cus was around, I was fighting for the title, he would tell me things. And he would describe the way Burbick would fight. Because I'm sure if he was around, he would have watched Burbick coming out of his ears. And he would describe the way Burbick fight and explain this is what I would do. And so I would tell him, yes, but just don't worry about it because everything's going to be all right. And he knew not to worry about it. No matter what happened, the job has to be done. All right, let's get it on. Come on. <laughs>
the second round. The winner by a TKO and youngest and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Michael Tyson. This one is going to be over, I believe. It's over. That's all. And we have a new era in boxing. Mike Tyson fought as perfect a fight as a man of his type of ability could possibly fight. He fought a very strong man, an experienced man. He was unfazed by the magnitude of the event. There is no praise high enough for Mike Tyson for fulfilling all of boxing's hopes for what he's done here. Amen. To understand the punch of power of Mike Tyson, all you have to do is watch this replay, and Cheryl Burbank has a very durable chin. He has never been hit that hard, that often, by any fighter. Here's another look at it. Watch the shot to the body. There it is. It's Missed with that right hand. It's such a short left uppercut, left, left hook, I'm sorry. And uh, it was a one-punch knocker out, pretty much. It was not accumulation of punches. Just devastating punches. But again, as I started to say, to underscore the theme of this fight, as Larry Merchant mentioned, patience. It was a different Mike Tyson than we saw. He just tried to overpower people before, run at him, and just be bigger and stronger and faster. But tonight, I didn't see him waste too many punches at all. Well, Tyson knew, I think he knew what to expect from Trevor Burbick. He felt that Burbick was somewhat crafty and uh, very slick inside. But Mike Tyson did what Mike Tyson normally does, and that's fight. <laughs> yeah, and he does, that's with a capital F also. Well, I don't, you know, he just answered all the critics. Not that he had that many critics to begin with, but the questions that we talked about, you know, is it too much too soon? He really hasn't fought a name talent. Well, that will no longer be talked about, I'm sure. We will talk more about it, however. But right now, let's go up to the ring announcer. Chuck Hall will get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mills Lane stops the bout. At two minutes, 35 seconds of the second round, the winner by a TKO and youngest and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Michael Tyson. Mike Tyson, 20 years old, a heavyweight champion. How does it feel to be wearing this belt? Well, it's the moment I waited for all my life since I started the game of boxing. And as everyone said, um, that Burbick, Burbick didn't have a chance. Burbick was a very tough, very strong. It's like very, very strong. I was never expecting him to be as strong like that. I knew he was strong, but I didn't expect him to be as strong as me. And he was very strong. But I was, I was calm, and I was timing my punch. Every punch I do, I do a bad intention in a vital area. Everybody thought that the, the magnitude of this event, your youth, the fact that you have been a little too impatient in past fights might make this a longer fight. How did you feel coming into this fight? How are you prepared to fight him? Well, I told everybody um, I, I anticipated on a knockout because I was so calm, so relaxed, and I had so much belief in myself. So my trainer, Kevin Rooney, and I, if I want to get in here, we sacrificed so much and we put in so much, and I just knew we couldn't fail. What you guys think in the comment section? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's go, notification gang. Hey.